I'm AshMail12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to install IIS on a Windows server. Now the Windows server I'm using is um, 2012 data center uh, but most of this um, is pretty standard on even back to 2003. Um, you know it's pretty much the same similar type just sort of laid out differently. So anyway what I'm going to first do is um, is login I'm using the administrator's account okay and when login comes up um, the server manager dashboard will automatically appear um, but if it doesn't well it should do but what I'm going to do is close it anyway um, and what you want to do is then actually go down to the bottom left and click on this icon here to actually open the server manager um, now to start to install a simple IIS server you want to go up here to manage and then click add roles and features and you'll get this little wizard here just click next to this first screen you can skip tick that box to skip this page by default if you don't want to see it anymore and um, it's just sort of like an introduction to what you know what what is this wizard and um, then you want to select role based or feature based installation then select your server which um, chances are it there will only be one here um, but if you've got multiple servers you know and then um, you've got a virtual pool here but I'm um, just going to select the main server and click on the server here and then click next uh, and then you'll get um, some roles to install now what we want to go down to is web server IIS tick that and it will tell you here that um, an extra feature is required so that will be installed so just click add features click next um, and then you'll get um, the features um, for the server um, you don't really need any of this um, so just click next um, this is just a bit of introduction about a web server just click next to that um, and now you're setting up the, uh, the roles for the IIS server um, now basically you can tick whatever you want here um, most of it's just default stuff now here's, here's your FTP server if you want to install that um, you know other management tools basically whatever you want authorization SSL um, you know it's just general stuff I'm just going to leave it all as default for now because I'm not really going to be doing anything with this server apart from you know a tutorial so I'm not really going to set up all the advanced stuff yet I suppose um, so click next to whatever you've done there and this is just a sort of summary um, so to check all your stuff there make sure everything's correct and um, chances are it will be then click install and this will start to now install the IIS server onto your server well the IIS web server rather onto your server um, it should take long um, once this installation started on and um, your computer name, I've just not changed it. Um, it, sh it will change to installation complete, I believe, if I can remember. And once that's done, you can just click close. You can click close now if you want, but um, it will still be installing in the background. I just like to wait um, until it's done um, so I know that it's done, if you know what I mean. Okay, there we go. Installation succeeded and we can click close and you'll see how in the dashboard you'll get another box that says IIS um, now IIS is now set up if we go to um, IIS over here at the side um, right click on your server here then if you go to internet information services IIS manager alternatively you can go to manage um, sorry tools and then internet so internet information services IIS manager is there um, and this is basically now um, your sort of um, C panel if, if you want to call it that of it, um, if you know a C panel from like a Linux server or whatever um, this is sort of like that version but on Windows server if, if it's kind of if you know what I mean it's sort of basically uh, the control panel of your 
web server you know you click on the server here um, and you get all some options here to select stuff and um, so um, all this stuff here is what you're going to be doing um, you know I'll be adding a uh, when we do PHP you know we'll be changing the handler mappings in there um, to get PHP working but for now and um, this is just a basic IIS server installation so if we go to um, sites here down the left side um, we'll open it up and click on default um, as you can see we get the same um, but click on content view down here and um, basically this is your files now to actually find this if you don't know where it is on the uh, the computer basically what you do is you go to your the uh, C drive of the server and then go to this top one here in it pub <laughs> double click on that and go to www root and there's all your files there so if I open this up this is basically the home page but as you can see we've loaded it from here and not the web server so to test it on the web server uh, basically if you look here in the IIS of the server manager you'll see an IPv4 address this is just sort of a local address at the moment it's not really worldwide um, so basically only uh, computers on your network can access this server at the moment so if I just actually close well minimize the virtual server I've got here and this is back to my actual computer now um, if I just load up um, the internet and then well I need that <laughs> um, so if I just uh, sort of uh, do this so I can see um, okay so if I type in 192 as you can see there I've already done it before <laughs> Um, so basically that's the IP um, of the server, so if I click go onto this um, We should get it up No Okay, stupid me, um, the IP is not this, um, it's 3.0 not 2.8 um, so enter and there we go. That's the uh, that's the web page coming from that server um, from the virtual machine I've got. Um, so basically, that's it. Your server is now set up to um, basic standards, I suppose. Um, you can only have you know basic HTML, um, nothing fancy, but basically, um, a web server is successfully set up, and um, you just need to install other features, PHP, MySQL. Um, you know other extensions and other languages if you want to run on this server so that's IIS thanks for watching and I will see you next time